I have a small in-ground pool. It's about 5,000 gallons. And I was looking for a way to extend my swimming season bef at the beginning and the end and was doing research on these solar sun rings. I decided to go ahead and buy a set of them and put them together. Despite a lot of the comments, there were a lot of people that had problems with them um, various for various reasons. And I realized that the directions for inflating them seemed a little bit um, confusing. So I went ahead and, and made a little video hoping that it might help some of you who are having trouble with it. And uh, I have not had any difficulty with mine since I've um, followed these directions and inflated mine. And so hopefully you'll have the same success that I have with them. I think a lot of the problems that people complain about are because they did make a mistake of some sort as they were inflating the rings. Once you've unpackaged the solar sun rings, go ahead and lay them out in the sun to allow the creases from packaging to relax and enable you to be able to inflate them a little easier. I have mine out on the front patio and they recommend about 15 minutes or so. Be sure you don't put them on grass because it can burn the grass. Next, you're going to inflate the center section of the solar sun ring and they recommend two breaths of air into the valve. I found I needed four breaths of air, so that may just depend on your lung capacity <laughs> to fill it up, but you don't want to overinflate. That is one of the cautions that they give on in the directions and could be part of the problem people have when they have difficulty with their sun rings. I push the valve all the way in to make sure that it doesn't come loose and deflate while it's in the, my pool. I even tucked this, if I can find it, this little tab right here underneath the edge of the um, plastic rim there. Now at this point, there the center area is not filled up. There's just a little bit of air in, in it. And you're going to take the whole sun ring and you're going to ball it up and they say it should be like a soccer ball size and you're trying to move that air that's in that center section around so that it gets into all of the little channels and so basically you're just balling it up and you're unballing it <laughs> and reballing it and just kind of pushing the air around you'll see the air in some of the spots like here but then other sections there's no air in that yet so you're just kind of scrunching and pushing it around and this can take about oh 10 minutes or so you want to be sure that you've got the air moved all around inside of that center section you're trying to separate the plastic so the plastic is not stuck together anywhere Okay, so I'm not finished doing that last balling and scrunching process. I just wanted to open it up and show you how you can tell <laughs> what you're going for. If you look at some of these um, areas here, they're green. That's where the plastic is still stuck together. Where it's yellow, that's where the air has come and separated it. So you can see I still have some work to do. There's um, quite a bit of area there that I have to force the air around and separate the plastic. Okay, so now I've, I've been squishing and pushing the air around through that center section of the sun ring. And it looks like, as I'm looking at it, all of the, the rays of the sun are now gold instead of green. And I'm gonna flip it over and I'm just gonna double check that there's no dark blue areas where the blue is still stuck together. It's a little easier to see on the back side. Okay, so I'm looking at the back side and it looks pretty good. I'd, oh, there's one little spot right here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, get my camera. <laughs> Move it over. There's one little spot right here where the blue is still stuck together. So I'm going to kind of work and push the air. Make sure that that gets popped out. Check it again. OK, 
Okay, so you want to make sure, double check that there are no places where the plastic is still stuck together. You want to make sure the air has separated the two pieces of plastic in the center area before you move on to the next step. So now I've inflated the outer ring and you want to be sure you don't over inflate it and make it curl. It should lay flat on the ground. Um, mine has a little give to it and you want to check your rings, I would say at least weekly and make sure that the air hasn't um, come out of them and make sure that the center area there's no places that started to stick together. You do want to keep an eye on your rings. You've made an investment in them. And then with the directions came a little guide that um, showed some comage, common damage that people experience and what to look for and how to correct that. So I would recommend that you definitely take a look at that. So now you can see I've added my third solar ring. I've had two going so far this season. They have faded a little bit. They're not all shiny new like the one I just blew up. But they've done a really good job of keeping my pool warm. It's been about 86 degrees most of the time. It'll get up to 90 uh, when we have a series of very hot days here in Southern California. And when that happens, I s I'll flip my rings over so the blue side is up. And that way they're not heating the pool anymore, but they're helping with evaporation and the chemical retention. So I'm hoping this video has helped you to get your solar rings working well for you. And if it has helped you, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.